Well, good morning, everyone. It is about 2 a.m. on uh, Monday, April... April something or other. 14th? Thereabouts? I think 14th or 15th? Patriots Day! Patriots Day, Monday morning. Um, if you're outside of Massachusetts, you may not know what Patriots Day is. It's a state holiday out here, uh, commemorating the, um, the, well, the Battle of Lexington and Concord, effectively. And, uh, that is where I am off to. Uh, Lexington Green, 5 a.m. or 5.30 thereabouts. We are going to be recreating that fateful event. Um, sort of a, uh, time-honored tradition out here in Massachusetts. And this is going to be my first year ever taking part in it, so I am very excited. Excited. We're going to be fielding with the battalion company of the 10th Regiment of Foot because um, not many other guys from the 54th are taking part, so we're just sort of joining up with another group that's going to have a bit more guys there. Um, very much looking forward to it. I've not slept at all last night. Um, this night, however you want to phrase it, um, I decided, you know what, rather than get two hours of sleep, I'll just stay awake for the whole thing. So here I am. Wish me luck. So as I'm waiting for my GPS to boot up, I figured that I would just give you a uh, little bit of proof. It is indeed 2.24 in the morning. I am in full kit and ready to go. Something tells me that my energy levels will not remain consistent throughout this video. Let's find out, shall we? So I have something of a tradition before every reenactment that I go to, really, that before I actually get to the site, I listen to one particular song, that being How Stands the Glass Around. It's by far my favorite song from the 18th century, um, really one of my favorite songs in general, particularly historical songs. Um, it's one of those few tunes that really brings out the emotion of the period and the struggles, the privations that these men, the men, you know, that I'm portraying, would have undergone during this period. It, it helps to, I think, around me whenever I'm going to these events. Because, you know, it's a lot of fun, obviously. This, this hobby is incredible fun, you know? Good friends, good people, you know, running around, playing army for a day. It's, it's fun, but we must never forget, no matter how fun it is, how solemn it is as well. And, and this song really helps, helps to do that. So I always, you know, sing along to it as I'm driving along. Don't really tell too many people about that. Maybe don't spread that around, but I, I do sing the song to myself every time I'm uh, on my way to an event. Um, yeah, I, I thoroughly recommend it, everyone. How stands the glass around? Of course, not every tune has to be solemn and somber, or even from the 18th century. Goodness, I think I'm having a little bit too much fun with this uh, vlogging style here. Right, so I, I would record my face here, but it's a little dark. As you can see, we are at about 3, 3, 10 in the morning. The parking lot of St. Bridget Church. Oh, you can't even see it there. But uh, you always can tell that you're in the right space because there's funny just people walking around. Right. Oh, am I in the frame? Hey, there we are. I believe this is what they call a gaggle of reenactors. This is what happens when the tent is going to an event. I'll be fielding with them today. Ambling over to the staging ground, they make us take a back road lest any of the public see us. What time is it? Uh, about 04.10. 04.10. And I'm running on zero sleep. God help me. I like to think that the occasional bystander we run by really has no idea what's happening right now. So they just see this moving through their backyard or along the road on a misty night. Good fun. Okay. It's the old military motto, hurry up and wait. We're here until the event actually kicks off at around 5 o'clock, I believe. There about, something like that. But it's looking like a good showing so far. Well, everyone, this is it. So I was wrong earlier. Now we're just standing around in ranks waiting for 
all the time for us to actually step off. So, I'm going to be a bit more formal this time. Uh, the next time you shall see me, in this video at least, shall be after the event. And here's hoping that I'm able to get some uh, proper hat cam footage this time around. Hey, eh, Corporal? I think it's going to be beautiful. There we go, we have the word. The fives are practicing. A few moments later... Immediately after the event, the skies just opened up and the rain was downpouring. So rather than waiting outside and interacting with the public, chatting with people as I, you know, like to do after these sorts of events, well, we all immediately retreated inside for the pancake breakfast. And just like that, it is all over. It is still very early in the morning, but I am very tired. There, um... Might be other things happening today, I don't know. There's supposed to be other events at Concord, whatnot, but, um... Given the weather, I wouldn't be terribly surprised if that was um, postponed for another day. But uh, all in all, I, I think that my weekend is, is over here. Now to go home, clean the musket, and I shudder to think just how rusted it's going to become. But, yes indeed, of course until the next time, my dear viewer, I am and I shall ever remain your most humble and obedient of servants. It does strike me that I should offer a few more notes of thanks at the end of this video. Uh, first off, as always, to my ever-beneficent supporting classes on Patreon. Thank you very much for your support. It does allow me to do things like this, to have fun, you know, going out at ridiculous hours in the morning to recreate old battles. Uh, and of course, as well, to the uh, fine ladies and gentlemen of the 10th Regiment of Foot. They were the individuals who, again, I fielded with this event, and they did make me feel very welcome. They're a great group of people. Uh, thank you all again so very much for watching. And of course, until the next... Oh, I already said that. I don't have to say that again. You, you, you get the idea. Bye-bye.